I like to stop by the Goal Zero booth every year at CES because they do a lot of really interesting portable power options. And I mean, I mean big power now. I, uh, the first time I came to see them, it was a small little battery pack that had uh, solar panels on it. And I still have that and I have it charged up. I've been waiting for that emergency use. But I'm with uh, Chris Allen and he's going to tell us about their newest products. What do you have going this awesome. year? Awesome. So, um, super excited. We launched our first one back in 2009 and so this is our sixth generation this is our big beast so this is the 4000 uh, the pro 4000 so this has more power out more power in um, than we've ever had before in a nice compact package um, this actually uh, has a automatic power switching function so if you're plugged into um, our home circuit here with the the haven haven 10 um, and the power goes out so here's the power. He's going to flick in. a switch here. I'm flick it. A lot of these people are listening on audio only, by the way. So he's flicking I'm a power a switch. switch. And unfortunately, or fortunately, because you can't see, uh, you're not going to see a flicker. But the power is off. So the power transferred immediately from um, the grid, which we're plugged in through the, the power here, uh, the Mirage, and now it's pulling directly from here. So in a power outage, there is uh, less than 10 millisecond um, power down. So as the it makes that switch. Very good. I, I like the no flicker. What we're looking at is a box that's uh, not even a large cooler yep. in, in size. And this was the 400, you said? 4,000. 4,000. 4, 4,000 so, so that's 4,000 4, watt hours. Yes. That is, that's huge, actually, in terms of the power. It is awesome. And with another 4,000 it has, um, category leading, so our lithium iron uh, phosphate batteries, but this these are rated for 4,000 plus cycles, so that's well well over 10 years of daily 100% cycling, zero to 100, back and, to zero. And we don't do zero to 100 most of the time, nope. hopefully, right? And not very so many people do. For the audience, in, in terms of size, the uh, Tesla power walls we have at our house are 13 and a half kilowatt hours. This right. is four, th uh, four kilowatt hours, it is. which is, is huge, but this is a portable unit you can take anywhere. Yep, so on the bottom here, um, there's you can take this off or not. There's a wheels handle that comes out and you can wheel it around. And then you can take that off and you can actually attach it to external um, expansion tanks that are each 4,000 watt hours. So you can get up to um, a one of these, one of the big systems, and then um, four tanks, which will give you 20 kilowatt hours. Holy cow, that's a, that's a, uh, that's a tailgate right there. That's a, <laughs> that's a massive tailgate, right. Or all the tailgates, whatever you want to call it. So, all right, so let's, uh, let's say we're we not. Took this. Okay. Oh, sorry, are this you moving the, into here? That I was, am. I was transitioning. Yeah, we're transitioning at the same time. So this is the Yeti Power uh, 4000. Yeti Pro 4000. And how much, uh, Yeti Pro 4000, how much is this one? Um, $4,000. Four thousand, four thousand. Yep. All right, but this would be different from, uh, for example, having a generator at the house, right, where you're burning gas or whatever. Correct. You'd use that. Correct. So you could power this with the with grid power. When the power goes down, of course, it automatically switches over. Um, you could also hook it up to solar. We have new um, portable 400 watt panels. We also have a um, we don't have it here, but we have a solar wall plate kit. So you, if if you don't want to worry about dragging the cords through the house and everything. Um, it actually goes into your external wall and then comes out right next, your electrician has to do it, but comes out right next to your Yeti Pro. And now you just set out your panels outside, hook it to the wall and you've got um, anywhere from 400 to 30 or 3,000 watts of solar recharging this bad boy. All right, so I'm gonna go get that GE smoker. I'm gonna plug it into the uh, Goal Zero Yeti Pro 400 with solar panels and I'm gonna eat off the sun. Yes, please. There we go, okay, let's move on. <laughs> All right, so, so these are the smaller brothers. We're gonna switch around, we're gonna switch sides here. So now we're getting into the, into the, the little kids here, yes, right? Yes, they are. So this is our new compact line. Um, so we've had a 205. These are more toaster pass. size. These are toaster size, exactly. Um, so we have our Yeti 300, our 500, and our 700. And we took a lot of the great awesomeness of our the big brother, the Pro 4000, and updated our, our compact line. So these have um, more power out than they've ever had before in the small size. We've added a new size, the 700, and then we replaced the 200 with a little bit bigger 300 watt hours. Um, they, it has the same 4,000 watt hour, or 4,000 battery cycles, okay. which is awesome. Right. The price is much less than 4,000. Um, so, and then we also, um, this is half the time to charge as uh, previous generations. So twice as fast, half as slow, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Um, so these, these start out at $349, $499, and then the biggest, the Yeti 700, is $699. So it's 
300, 400, 500, Basically. 700 for the 300, 500, 700, pretty Correct. close? Yep. All right, well, we that like makes the pricing simple. easy. That's good. That's <laughs> we good. We do. And these are uh, these come out actually at the end of this month. So January 30th, they'll be on sale um, on our website. You can find them at REI, other retailers. Um, we're really excited about this line. So what could you typically do with, say, the Yeti 700? For, I mean, obviously, the 4,000, we're, we're doing some serious Absolutely. keeping our house running the yep. refrigerator. So these what are do you more do focused, with the These are more focused for, I'd say, around the backyard and definitely for outdoors. So um, on the front, covering all the all the uh, the ports on the front as well as the back, we affectionately call it the mud flap because I don't know how, what else to call it. Um, but this protects it from uh, the elements. It's uh, IPX4, but also um, UL2743 rated. Um, another awesome function is we still have all the protection here, but you can see it crystal clear through the display um, with the flaps down. And under our mud flap, we've got uh, two AC ports yep. and uh, two ACs. You got a couple of USB USB-A. A's, and then the USB-C. We have a 30, and then we also have a 100. 100 watt power delivery. Yep. Okay. All right. There's and, there's your MacBook Pro right there. And then you ask what we can power. You can power. Yes, absolutely. Um, a uh, a laptop and the phones and those small devices. You can also do like a pellet grill. Um, you could do a CPAP um, if you're camping or wherever it is. Um, oh, that's a nice idea. And then what we also love, and this is a transition here, so we have our new Alta line of fridges. So these are portable fridges. Um, you can see um, plugged in here through the six millimeter port on the front. It also has an adapter. I'm, I'm going to add a little bit of info. He's, oh, he's pointing in the uh, video. He's Thank pointing you. to the Yeti 700. He's powering a refrigerator from it. Yep. Portable refrigerator. Um, think a electric cooler okay. and it can either be powered through this six millimeter port or the, um, there's an adapter for 12, a 12 volt cigarette okay yep we're all you can't be old enough to remember cigarette lighters in cars but that's what we still call them right it's very kind of you but yes I do <laughs> <laughs> so what's uh, we designed the Alta fridges um, they don't have all the bells and whistles that you'll see other fridges have we don't charge for that, but we also said we want a fridge that will last as long as possible outside. So if you compare it versus the market leaders, this fridge is um, 20 to 25% more efficient um, when you're using it with your Yeti. So what does that mean? Well, there's an equivalent size, an equivalent battery um, competitor out there that, that claims 27 hours of time plugged into their battery, we get 37 hours with the same battery size, which is which is Very amazing. Very nice. Can we can we open it up and Absolutely. look inside? Absolutely. And please feel. We turned it on earlier, so it should be a nice chilly oh, negative two. Great. If you touch the metal, you can feel that. Very nice. And that's being so we're looking at a refrigerator at this cooler that's power being powered by this Goal Zero Yeti 700 right yes. now. There's nothing up his sleeves. That's all I see. I don't see any other cables. <laughs> You're not making anything up on me, Chris. Nope, I'm not. And uh, so what's the name of this uh, cooler? This is the Alta 50. So this is 53 liter size, um, 77 cans, basically. That's a lot of cans. And then we also have, um, its bigger brother is a dual zone. So you can have it set to fridge and freezer or two freezers or two fridges. Oh, come on. And that's 80 liters. Um, so it's much bigger. And this would be $7.99, big brother's $9.99. And that's about a 20% discount to the leaders. That's that's really not bad. So if people want to find this, you're saying they go to go to REI is a good go to place. REI, go to our website, GoZero.com. You go to Amazon.com. Absolutely. Very good. Thank you very much, Chris. This is fantastic. Oh, it's very cool. One more? Yes, one more. One more. That's not the show. That's ours. So this right here that you're seeing, this is a 12 foot tall extendable camping light. It's called. Uh, it's an area light. It's called the skylight. Um, it's got a tripod at the bottom, a handle with the switch, and it just slides up and down, collapses easy. Um, puts out 6,000 lumens, which in the middle of the night, if you set up the, and the panels are all adjustable, the six light panels with all the LED lights on them. If you set it up with the panels up, it gets you 300 feet diameter of illumination. Okay, all the other campers hate you, but it's awesome for playing cards. We do not recommend that you do it in a closed campsite, um, but you also have control of the direction of the panels and you can set it anywhere Set the height and everything. Yep, you can How set it from 250 that? lumens up to. I think you said it right. 12 feet. 12 feet. Wow. Yes. I am glad you pointed out. What is that called? The skylight. The skylight. Also powered from these. So that's okay, our, wait a our Yeti Ready Gear line. Is what we're okay, he's got a power cord coming out of the uh, the Yeti 500. Yep. That's great. That's great. Very
Very cool. I'm glad you threw one more in. Yeah, this is the best, <laughs> the best lit booth here for thing. sure. <laughs> Thank right. you so much Thanks for stopping lot, by. Okay, bye bye. Take care.